Hi, I'm Dahl. And I'm Ben Cribben. And welcome to, back to your daily announcements. Oh, today for lunch we have French bread pizza, tossed salad, cucumber slices, frozen treat, and a cold milk. Let's take a look at today's holidays. Let's take a quick glance at your top five news stories of the day. Hi, I'm Brody Sainer, and these are your top five news stories of the day. Number one, Department of Energy assesses that COVID-19 was likely a lab leak originating in China. Number two, nearly 200 people arrested in Turkey related to poor construction building following the earthquake. Number three, 2.2 magnitude earthquake fell in Wichita on February 25th. Number four, Jake Paul loses a split decision boxing match to Tyson Fury. Number five, congrats to JV girls basketball team on finishing the season with a perfect 19-0 record. Here's our word of the week. This week's word of the week is query. A question, especially one addressed to an official or organization. Next, here's a viral video with Mason. What's up, Valley Center? I got you guys again with this week's most viral videos. First, we got a police officer who's trying to subdue a crocodile with a beach towel. Did you record that? And next, we got a man who's trying to surprise his wife on Valentine's Day. Finally, we got a man who got pranked really good by his wife. Hey babe, babe, what is that red light above the new building that they're building? I don't see anything. It's a red blinking light. That new building right there? Yeah. I don't... Hang is on. Is like a helicopter in the distance or something? No, let me turn the light off. I don't, I think it's too bright. I got you guys again next week. Here's a uh, Wichita State University announcement. Learn how to earn college credit before you graduate high school. Through WSU Tech's Jumpstart program, you can earn transferable credits and save money, often in classes you're already taking. They're already doing the coursework anyway. They're already getting the credit for high school, but now you're also getting college credit as well. For about a third of the cost, they get the full college credit that's transferable to any colleges here in the state. And it can save mom and dad a whole lot of money over the course of a college education. I've already got a year done out of the way. It feels really cool when you tell people that you're a sophomore as a freshman. Awesome investment. It saves you time, saves you money. It's preparing you for your life. And they're like, I can do this, and they keep going. I want to be a physical therapist when I'm done with college. Go on and become a doctor. Become a dentist. They're ready to take on the world. To find out how to get a jump start on college, go to wsutech.edu slash jumpstart to get started now. Next, here's an Eric Fisher Academy announcement. Uh, let's head on over to the weather. Hi, I'm London Wilson, and here's today's weather report. The high for today will be 42 with a slight chance of rain, and tonight's low will be 29 with a slight chance of rain. Now for a quick blast of the past, let's wrap up this with a in history. Stay classy, VC. March 2nd, 1877. Republican Rutherford B. Hayes is declared winner of America's disputed presidential election months earlier. Hayes moves into the White House instead of Democrat Samuel J. Tilden, who had won the popular vote. 1931. <laughs> Mikhail Gorbachev, the last leader of the Soviet Union, is born in Stavropol, Russia. Gorbachev ended Soviet domination in Eastern Europe as communism there faced collapse. 
But his political and economic reforms at home failed to prevent the Soviet Union's disintegration. 1933. The movie King Kong premieres in New York. The tale of the giant ape spawns a remake in the 70s and most recently in 2005. And 1965.